Our understanding about how to treat prostate cancer has changed over time as our understanding of the disease and the biology has changed. And now we're developing additional tools to fine tune the treatment of these different patients. Among those men who do need treatment for prostate cancer, a major concern that many men have is how will this impact the quality of my life and what side effects may I experience during the course of that treatment. Imaging has been a topic that has been growing in the interventional space for the last several years. And at Profound, we use real-time MRI imaging, which is the best imaging for soft tissue. We combine that with autonomous robotics and with gentle ultrasound heating to put it all together into a package that allows us to ablatively treat diseases of the prostate. The Tulsa Pro is an MRI-guided transurethral ultrasound ablation device for the prostate. We actually use the MRI in a real-time fashion to image the prostate uh, and get quantitative temperature images, which we then feed back to our system and adjust the therapy in real time to best ablate the treatment plan defined by the physician in order to provide the best risk benefit to that patient. We have been in the market about 18 months at this point. And we're quite proud of the fact that many of the leading hospitals are already using this product. We have an amazing set of uh, early adopter uh, sites, um, and it ranges really from very large hospital networks, academic hospitals as well, specialty private physician groups, as well as imaging centers, which have an interesting model where they're offering the Tulsa Pro to community urologists that may otherwise not have access to an MRI. We see the physicians use the Tulsa Pro for a wide breadth and depth of patients, localized prostate cancer from focal to customized whole gland, where we carve out the neurovascular bundle, the ejaculatory ducts and urinary sphincters, radio recurrent prostate cancer, patients with median lobes, patients with anterior tumors, patients with apical tumors. So it's really a wide breadth and depth of patients that the physicians can really tailor these treatments to. The patients that are ideally suited for this approach, the way that we use the technology, are those that have MR visible uh, intermediate risk disease or MR visible large volume low risk disease. We've been using the technology to target cancer in those patients. Uh, can also be used to alleviate symptoms of BPH as well. I've been very interested in building a focal therapy program here at Stanford and have been doing so over the last five years. What we've noticed is that there had been a gap in our program in the ability to treat cancers in certain areas in the prostate that I just could not reach with other methods of focal therapy. Tulsa, for that reason, was quite attractive to me. We collaborate very closely with our colleagues in urology. Dr. San and I uh, sit together when we're planning the treatment, we're looking at the images together. That collaboration, I think, serves the patient very well. People bring different sets of expertise to the table, both from the patient care perspective and also academically. The Tulsa system itself is very easy to use. You have a pretty good idea of what you're doing, why, how the system works. The feedback is, is easy to use, uh, remarkably easy. One of the major advantages of the Tulsa system to treating prostate cancer is not only are we maintaining efficacy, not only are we uh, maintaining safety, but also the patient experience just in general is uh, vastly improved. The recovery is very fast. Uh, they go home the same day. Within a week, the catheter is out and they're able to return to normal activities very quickly after the procedure. There isn't a prolonged recovery period. There's not much in the way of pain. I tend not to see men complain about pain after this procedure. Other advantages are reduced side effects. One of the major reasons why many men hesitate to have prostate cancer treated or even to go through the process of diagnosis in the first place is, well, what if I find cancer and I need treatment and how will those side effects of those treatments impact the quality of the rest of my life? And so a treatment option with a lower risk of side effects is very, very attractive to men who are interested in reducing their chance of death from prostate cancer, but at the same time to preserve quality of life. What we find is that once the physicians get comfortable, they have been treating very high risk patients on one end of the spectrum, but they're also treating very low risk patients on the other end of the spectrum, including large prostate, even BPH patients. My prostate was 110 cc, so it's about five to six times larger than 
normal prostate. And um, it was all BPH. So I went through the whole gland therapy, all 110 cc's, and my vital functions are safe and very quickly came back to normal. There's no pressure and so you know, you can really plan your day much, much better knowing that everything is okay. As we look forward to the future, this technology, we're really just touching the tip of the iceberg, really. Right now, our goals are to treat a patient in about two hours of procedure time. And with some of these hardware and workflow changes we have in mind, we're looking to further reduce that to 90 minutes or even 60 minutes in the MRI suite. And with today's sort of artificial intelligence, machine learning algorithms, we have a unique opportunity to use that rich data set and produce predictable outcomes for the patients. And so when we treat a patient today, we'll be able to tell them very early on the course of their outcomes. And I think for patients and physicians, it's a really powerful thing to have.